how everybody doing? Welcome. All right, this is Wednesday. I mean, this is the first Wednesday trade. Um, so every, like I said in other videos, um, I trade Monday, Wednesday, Friday on the XBX. So when I trade Monday, it's gonna be Monday trades, Wednesday, Wednesday trades, Friday, Friday trades. All right. My name is Tim Moden. Hey, and welcome to Option Talks. Um, today is Wednesday, and we we're looking at the markets for the S and P 500 today. Um, I have another video that I did yesterday that's still uploading, and that video is just basically for preparation for pretty much today. So you're gonna see that video first, and then you're gonna see this video right now um, later on in the day, and then after we place a trade, or if I do place a trade, and and see how that works, and see how I got filled, and then I'm gonna post another trade after four o'clock today to let you know the PL for the day and just see how it works. All right. So let's get started. All right, so as you can see, I'm still screen sharing again on Zoom with y'all today. And um, and we're looking at the S&P 500 on a 30 minute chart. All right, so like I always say, it's 12.53 p.m. right now. I just clocked in to work. <laughs> so, and that's a beautiful thing. Woke up, ate some good breakfast, um, watched my, watch my face, brush my teeth, everything like that. Put on a nice shirt for y'all, if I ate. If you don't know, uh, um, but yeah, let's just have a good trading day, and I feel good. My mom's good. Um, body's good. I worked out last night. Um, everything's good on my part, and I hope everything's good with y'all. All my subscribers out there, people that follow me on IG, um, and still, if you like, if you see, you love the content, comment below. If you have questions, comment below, um, and then spread the word. Um, option talks. Um, and most likely later in this video, I'm gonna have where my my line brothers, Braxton O'Brien, he trades stock options. And he also trades the SPY and XPX. And he most likely will join this Zoom meeting and he will go over how he looks at the market as well and get his perspective, right? So just going back to the chart, um, this is a 30 minute chart on the XPX. So everything I do, I always start on the weekly chart. I always start on the weekly just to look at it because weekly big banks and institutions they look at higher time frames like a weekly um a monthly a daily or 240 they really don't they don't trade like on five minute 30 minute 15 minute charts like that um because those on those support and resistance don't really respect or hold um compared to a weekly chart or a monthly chart so that's why i always start on the weekly chart to see where i'm at um basically when I'm based on the chart um so we're on a weekly chart right now um, i'm gonna take this off all right so right now we are rallying up right now we have this weekly candle this week's weekly candle right here is definitely gapped up above one two well i could say three 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 weekly candles so we're definitely on the rally right now as as you can see so Basically, I'm looking for a sell put. And like I said, the video before, I was explaining to you what is a credit spread, what are the two actions, the three actions that I do, which is a sell put, sell call, and a sell iron condor or short iron condor, whatever you want to say. So a sell put, we are saying that prices, we are going to be below current price and we just need price to stay above until four o'clock. All right. So right now we is definitely a rally in, a rally up from this buying territory where it just came up and popped up. If we go back further in the chart, we definitely hitting some some buying areas somewhere down here. Cause that's where price reacted off of, some buying area down here. And it's just rallying up, all right? So potentially, um, higher probability this is gonna rally. And then most likely it's gonna hit this um, stack of sellers over here, or the selling territory, or this resistance. And then potentially it's gonna fall from it. Because we are in the bear market, Right now, because as you can see, these past few weeks, or really, really weeks, see how this big drop just just whew, took a lot of people money, a lot of four one ks, IRAs. Now we we're just trying to make up for it. So, but anticipation wise, I'm not expecting price to go back up here and break this high. It's gonna most likely high probability gonna stop right here and just fall back down again. Because I, I believe the market, like I said, the market loves to take people money, loves to draw on people. Yes, it's rallying up, but this is short term, short term rally that is going to potentially just get up here and just fall right back out. 
All right. So, but we have enough room to run and to get up here. So that's why I'm looking for a soap put. All right. So we make that analysis on a 30 minute uh, on a weekly chart. I'm going to go to our 30 minute chart. And this is on all on tradingview.com. Just want to be mindful of that. All right. So right now, if you look at my other video, my video I posted before this, um, I definitely said, uh, if I take back the, the bars of today, happening today, or what happened right now, this was the end of yesterday, all right? I said two things, two ifs. If price drops down, gap down, and break these two lows right here, where my ellipse is at, these pivot points, one, two, then I'm gonna look for a sell call somewhere up here. But if price gaps up and breaks these two, then I'm looking for a sell put. All right. And that was the, that was my other video last night. So we pre-plan in preparation for today. All right. So I'm gonna play this out until we see the candles, what's going on today. All right. And and then just a side note. The, these you see the headline for the XBX. I literally said SP is near a bull market, or it says the SP 500 is near a bull market, but a bear could return. That's literally what we just said on the weekly chart. Price is showing a little rally, a short term rally, but it put the higher probability is going back to going down to a bear market again. All right, so it's just, it's just reading the chart, all technical analysis. All right, and this just right here just gave me an extra confirmation of what I was, was telling y'all just now. All right, so right now we see what price is at. Price is not, hasn't broke these two um, pivots points or pivot highs yet. So I'm not looking for a trade right now. Uh, the one thing about trading, you want extra confirmation. You want price to do what they want you to do before you can feel comfortable for you to get in a trade and place a trade and make some money. All right, so I need price to break these two pivot highs for me to look for a sell put below this pivot low. All right, or somewhere down here. So it's at 27.21. One of my other rules, uh, current price on my chart pair has to be between 75 to 100 points away from current price. So potentially, I would like my my strike price to be somewhere down here at 26, 20, 25, or 26, somewhere in this area right here. So I'm gonna put a rectangle around it. It's like my, I want my area to be, a sharp price to be around here, somewhere in this area, all right? But price has to break these two. Like it has to. If not, then I'm not trading, okay? Um, I wanna say I'm not trading, I would say I wouldn't be doing a sell put if it don't break these two, all right? So if price falls from here and then it breaks, this pivot low, when price falls from here and breaks this pivot low, I'm doing a sell call up here. Definitely doing a sell call because we officially have, we have one, uh, we have one lower high, we have one lower low. If price come back down and break this, we have another lower low and this is a lower high. So, we, so with a downtrend, you need to see two, two lower lows and two lower highs, all right, for official downtrend, all right? So I need my start price to be somewhere in this area right here. All right. This is all this is all my buying, my buying territory right here. So I need my start price to be down here if I'm doing a sell put and price breaks this. But if not, now I'm looking to do a sell call somewhere in this area up here. And I'll make that red. All right. See how it works. I need price to do this. I need price to do this before I get any trade. All right. So, so that's how we're gonna do it. All right. Because we need price. We need to try to do what we want to do. It's not about chasing it, not forcing it. We just, we just letting it ride. We just letting it do what it do. And it's it's only one o'clock. So, um, and like I said, the same day expiration ends at four. So we got three hours to play with. All right. So we can. Get in the trades. Um, if we break one of these two, if not, then we just wait till Friday. All right, let's keep it that simple. It's a whole another day to trade. This and that. So, and then I want to stress about it. Okay. So let's look at the news for today. And 
and we definitely look at Econo Day. Econo Day, E C O N O D D A Y dot com. All right, we got Econo Day for news. Other than looking at the headlines on the trading view. Uh -oh. All right, here we go. Um, then we go down to full view full calendar. All right, so we got FIMC minutes at two o'clock, and I said in my other video, I don't, I don't like, I do not trade during these minutes, but however, we these minutes are red. If you trade forex, I know a lot of people that view my videos, they trade forex as well. If you go to forexfactory.com. And y'all can definitely take notes of these websites because they are very useful for news and fundamentals. Um, at one o'clock today, we got FOC minutes at one o'clock. So it's, it's an up and down battle right now and the, and the folder is not red. So it's not as important on Forex Factory. So, but let's do this change. I need to see if my time and everything is right. Let's, Eastern City time, that's Eastern time. <laughs> so we are right. So it's like now it's over 3 p.m. Nope, we are not right. Did I say? All right, there we go. All right. All right, now let's go back to the calendar. They had the daylight saving time on there. Then we're down to Wednesday today. Now it's back to two o'clock. All right, so the depth comes at two o'clock. And he's, like I said, this is a perfect example of making sure all your, your resources, everything you do and what you look at, the place of trades, I give you more high, high probability on your, on your favor, on your side. Make sure everything's updated, all right? If it doesn't align, then you're trying to figure out just like that, that was at one o'clock. But we look at the other website, it was at two o'clock. So something did not align. So, and then we also look at forexlive.com. See, see in the web address, forexlive.com. All right, let's update this. Because we did this the other day. And then that was another video where I showed you the news that Trump said on Sunday night about the, the virus or the vaccine against the virus how it shows strong signs. And then in the video, I'll show you how on Monday, the XPY, the XPX gapped up. And that's how I placed the trade. And I made a good amount of money on that. And it was a great trade just off of fundamentals and also technical. Little fundamentals, just a little, just just seeing, just, just seeing that news about Trump saying about the virus, uh, knowing that a lot of people are gonna be happy. So most likely stocks and everything and the index is going to gap up because they're happy. Because the price and the markets and the charts are really going by fear and greed at the end of the day. I say greed is joy, in a way, happiness. And that hearing that news was happiness for a lot of people. So that's why I got up and that's why I made some good money just off of that little simple little tip or that advice and just going off of my technical skills, which I'm showing you right now. All right. Um, and so we're looking at Forex Live, so April 6th, so we still gotta update this. All right, let's see, we go down and go all the way to the front page. All right. Oh, it's a front page. But these are some definitely some great websites for y'all to look into as you use as your resources and everything. All right, so we're just looking down. Pound is strongest, the euro's the weakest. That means the dollar is strong. Um, and Democrats taking at least $500 billion in the next stimulus bill. Okay. Boris Johnson is stable in response to the virus treatment. The virus treatment. And he is the British, um, the UK um, prime minister. And he was just diagnosed with coronavirus, I think, a week ago. And they said that he was doing bad, but now he's doing really good off the treatment. So the, the drug is actually working. All right. So the way of people needing ventilators is declining. This is in New York. 
And I heard New York, their cases are definitely bouncing out. Um, Tokyo confirms a daily record, 144 new coronavirus cases over the last 24 hours. That means the yen is getting weak. And another thing, with currencies and, and like the Dow or the SP, S&P 500, you will have some currency correlations with the S&P. Um, the S&P is definitely heavily correlated with the yen currency. So if the yen is doing bad, most likely the S&P is doing really good. And just like the past two days or so, the S&P has been rallying and the yen has been weak if you train your Forex. The yen has been weak. All right, and this is definitely confirmation of that with Tokyo. And um, where the agent might be, whatever. Um, so the key looking, key looking. Uh, the dollar continues, continues its identity struggle so far this week. Mm. All right. All right. Uh, let's look at this really. Nothing else. There's nothing else on here. All right. Back in this. It's just good to know it. All right. So let's go back up to the chart. So you see how the chart works right now. We are definitely trying to trying to break these two highs to get in a so put somewhere down here. All right. But we have to wait until that happens. All right. Um. We just gotta wait. This is the patience part of trading. Just be patient, do what you gotta do. Wash clothes, um, work out, whatever. Um, yeah. And just see how it works. Okay. Um, then I'm gonna let this roll. We already set up what ifs, what happened if this happened, what happened if this happened, and we're gonna see how it plays out. And then I will come back to you when I place a trade or before I place a trade, show you how to place it and then see. And then I'm gonna have the video run. And showing how I got to, all right. But um, this is how we do it, all right. But just stay, stay tuned, guys, and you will see the end results. Everybody, hey, it is one fifty-five p.m. So when I got off the, my I just ended with y'all. I'm back on there with, back here with y'all. I'm looking at the chart again right now. Um, as you can see on the screen share, it's still just going between. Uh, two things, uh, two levels of um, resistance and support. So most likely, I would potentially love to do an iron condor at this point, but it's almost two o'clock, and we're looking at the FOMC minutes. So um, I'll be right back and to show you what happened at the, with the news come out, how the market reacts to it, and what we're gonna do. All right. So just stay in tuned, and this is trading. Just being patient, and I'm just waiting for the right opportunity. All right. All right, everybody's two o'clock on the dot. All right, so, and as you can see, you see me on screen sharing, so let's see what happens. All right, so just to recap on what we got going on here, what's the possibilities, what, 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 what happened when price does this, this and that, what we're gonna do. All right, so um, like we said earlier, if price break these two highs, we are definitely looking for a sell put down here in this buying area and a price comes down and breaks this low, we're looking for a sell call in this selling area. So as you can see, price is literally going, technically going sideways in between our two territories. So we can do an iron condor at this point, and it's two o'clock right now, and we really don't see nothing going on. Um, see, let's see, look at the news, anything on the headlines. Um, there's nothing going on over there. Uh, let's look at Econo Day. Uh, still nothing. Really nothing going on right now. Uh, let's look at Forex Factory right, right here. Let's right. refresh Forex Live. Make sure we not miss anything. Let's go back to the chart, All right? Because it's not so slow right now. All 
So, get the record going on. All right, so we got our two playing fields, our two territories, our resistance. We got our support down here. The price is going sideways right now. Just trying to see what it's going to do. So, we can look to do an iron condor right now. We definitely can. Because um, price is going, just consolidating at this point. And we haven't seen nothing being broken at all. So, um, we can definitely go and try to see if we can get Iron Condor. All right, so with Iron Condor and what I love to do, I, so potentially I can get a start price in this area, but that's what I want. With trading, you always get what you can. I always get what you can. So um, I can get right here, but I wanna go higher. So let's be conservative, just get this, just be, be conservative, be safe. Um, because anything can happen with the XPX you know, or the S&P because it, it, can, it can rally 100 points within two minutes. It can rally up 300 points, whatever. It just depends. All right. All right. My fault. We had um, we had to make sure uh, somebody texted me about what we're looking at on the chart right now. All right. Um, so let's go to Tasty Works and see what we can get. Um, but first, I would like to have a start price in this area between 2780 and 2800 for my sell call. And then I would love to have my sell put uh, lower than 2620 right here. So let's all, let's actually just do this. I'm gonna delete this. Um, let's put uh, my golden lines to show you where, my start, where I want my start prices to be at. Let's say the highest is 2800. Uh, oh, it's not my fault. I had a lot of zeros. All right, let's do another one. Go ahead, 2620. Let's get around 2620. All right. Uh, I love these start prices because this is. This is between that 75 to 100 mark from my sell put to current price, and then from my sell call to the current price, but still um, in between 75 to 100 points. Still fit my rules and everything like that. All right. So now let's go to let's go to um, Tasty Works. So I already I already slick already trying to look for stuff. So I'll go to my strategy, of course, like we said in the other video. And then we go to short iron condor, click go. And now we just drag our start prices down. All right. So this is our sell call. Our sell call was going to be at 2800 2800 Between 28. 2780 and 2800. Let's see what we get. I'm more comfortable with 2800. Right. 2800 right there. Then, and remember today's expiration is April 8th, so we'll always go to the same day expiration. All right, it's two o'clock, so we only got two hours to make some money. All right. This is my job, people. Um, we're going to bring this back up. Keep going up, keep going up. So we are close to. So at 26.35, we had 10 cents. Let's go up a little more at 26.30, see if we can get. We had 10 cents at 26.30. All right, let's go to 26.25. My rule is I I trade nothing lower than five cents. All right, remember I trade two hundred contracts, so yeah, five cents is good. All right, it's all about the account size. All right, so right now I'm at twenty six thirty, twenty six twenty five, or twenty six yeah for my sell put, and I'm getting like five cents, close to ten cents. So let's go up twenty six thirty five. Nice prices. Away from me a little bit. See how prices just fluctuating, going up and down for five cents, ten cents. Now this game 
back to 10 cents, close to 10 cents, or turn since 35. And price is going up from 27.18. It's rallying up right now. Hold on, let me type in my contracts real quick. I'm doing 200 contracts. All right. Let me get this. All right, the longer that, that's how much I trade. Um, hold on, hold on. So, how's it doing that? We're not in it at 10 cents. Right. So, uh, so, five cents now. So, let's see. Let's go back to the chart real quick. See what price is doing. Price is literally just fluctuating right now. It's going up now. If you haven't noticed here, um, big news came out today about Bernie Sanders quit the race for for the presidency. So uh, that will show some reaction. Definitely, definitely will show some reaction. Just because it's, it's just justice in the, in the government. And a lot of people are leaving, just jumping out of their presidential race and letting Trump just win. You know? um, yeah, it's crazy. You want to hear my perspective. Um, I feel like Trump is a, he's a businessman. So he, all he does is make money. Um, Trump actually, um, during this period, he's been president for the past four years, he actually made America a lot of money. If you haven't realized, it's just because Amazon and Apple hit the trillion dollar mark cap in the stock market this past uh, year, um, last year. So, and you really haven't seen a lot of business go out, um, go out of business. And, and I remember Target was going out of business and they researched back. Um, a lot of people, as a person, Trump, not, he's not that a uh, human person, uh, people, person to person or a people person, you can say, but as a businessman, he definitely made me a lot of money um, just trading wise and because he can tweet about something and make you a lot of money if you're in that favor, you're on the right side of that trade, you never know. Um, so for trading wise, perfect, but of course, as a people person, uh, you know, but a lot of people are really scared of me, uh, really scared of me. As I can see. All right, but prices, ladies, just going in between here and just going up and down. So um, let's see. Let's definitely go back to our chart. Uh, prices at once. So that means we can trade. So let's see what we can get. At 2640, you can give us something. Twenty six thirty five. There's nothing more anymore. Twenty six thirty. Nothing to do anymore. Twenty six thirty can give us five cents anyway. Um, price is going up now. Price is definitely going up. Now I can give us ten cents. So let's look at the chart again. See his, see how his reaction is holding up now. So let's see. Um, that news, that I'm seeing in the news is really coming out now. And this is why I'm just going back to rule base. You just want to wait and see how things play out. But you definitely want to take the long trade. Definitely want to take the long trade. Let's see. Uh, one of my good friends, um, Deontay. Uh, Batiste, um, me and him just work together. He just texted me saying that he got in a, a sell put at 26.80. I'll make, him, make his black 26.80. All right. This is where, that's where his sell put is. So we'll see what happens. I'm not in the trade yet. Um, like I said, I need price to actually do something right now. All right. And that's a good one. Everybody's looking at it. If price 
if I, I really want to do a self put, I definitely do. Um, but if price breaks this, well, huh? Then I might look into a self put. But it's just getting in, you're about to get into some selling territory right now. Um, let's see. I really love that iron condor though. But this green candle is not, I don't like that green candle. Let's see what it does. It's just news. Or if I'm, if I'm seeing news, you know. Uh, we got new headlines for XBX. Dow Jones CEO Will Lewis to lead the company. Oh uh, man, wait. No, he's leaving the company on the Dow. So, um, so that's gonna be crazy reaction. We'll see what happens with that. Let's see what happens with that. All right, so as you can see, price is literally moving up past that high we was um, talking about. Uh, let's see if it breaks. And then I would definitely look in for a sub put now. Definitely. Okay, I'm not looking to the sub put. Uh, look at the news Fed's move cut rates to zero raise worries about future lack of ammunition. Minute show cut rates to zero. Wow, yeah. index up to 2.3 percent in 27. 10. Everything's up. The NASDAQ, the Dow, all the things going up right now. Um, and that's the news, right now. Mm -hmm. that's the news right here. Let me shut it a little bit. That's that's a big key right there. Big key. So let's see if it breaks. It needs to break. It needs to break. Um, so as we're waiting, um, like I said, my name is Tim Molden. Um, a lot of people call me a keys. Um, I'm an option trader. You know, this is my everyday life. Um, it's 2 18. I'm clocked out, clocking out by 4 o'clock. I just ordered some news from American Bill. You know, um, I was cleaning up, doing a lot of other things, waiting for the minutes to come out and see how. And so I reacts, and before then we prepared an hour before the news come out. So that's what you always got to do. You always got to be prepared. Uh, my favorite analogy is it's like before you go outside, you look at the weather. So you want to be prepared how you dress, and that's what we're doing. We definitely look at the weather to see how we can prepare for the what's it day. Uh, prepare to see these um, trades. What's the, what's the outcome? What are the ifs? If this happens, if this happens, what what are we gonna do? That's how you gotta come at it because the market comes at you in different ways. Different ways. It's just like it's just like Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali is one of the best boxers of one hands on the best boxer that ever touched the boxer ring. You would never fight him the same way you fight other opponents because Muhammad Ali is a whole nother beast, a whole a whole nother person you gotta come uh you gotta come with a different strategy, a different approach. But remember it's the same basis, the same punch, the same job. The same uppercut, but it's a different approach because he's a he's a whole nother beast. And the market is the same way. The market will give you the same, same, the same picture, the same set of everything, but it's the approach that comes with it. And you gotta have a different strategy. You gotta have a different backup plan to to to, to even get in a trade or make you feel comfortable because you might see one thing, boom. You know, if it don't fit right, it don't feel right in your gut. Don't take it. You know, so you just got to look at it as that, you know, because um, the markets will really tell you what to do. Yeah, they will tell you what to do. You just got to understand to take time to just just be with it, see what it does, learn the behaviors behind it. But you got to, right? You just got to do what you got to do, right? But as you can see, price is rolling up. I wanted to rob it. I really wanted to rob it. So we do because we called even before on a on a weekly chart and said we want to do a sub put and this is on the 15 minute too. So I did go down to a 15 minute and break. But as you can see, the price is just running up right now. And you see why blue box is? That's why I want to be compared to this weekly candle. Can't complain about that.
go back now to that 15 minute. I went to a 15 minute just because I could see the candles much better. See these 15 minute candles. Yeah. So how it works and everything. Um, yeah. So it's breaking. It's trying to break it. It's definitely trying to break it. Definitely trying to break it. All right, let's prepare. Let's go back to Tasty Works. Let's see. All I could do is just change it from uh, short put right here, short put. Let's see what we can get. Um, my friend was at 26.80. He's at right 26.80. He get 30 cents off of that. That's good. But for me, I'll have to go lower. Let's see what I can get. Um, 2650, we get 5 cents off of that. 2655. At 2655, we get 10 cents. See what we have? 2655 is right here. Right there. So let's put another line right there. That's what it's giving us 10 cents. 2655. I'll make that this color a little red. All right, so my potentials. These are 2680. My friend, I can potentially go at 2655. Or simply, I can go back and see if we have a color like we did in the first place. So, what we're doing right now is just pre planning. And Um, see how easy tasty works move like all you have to do is move the stuff that's why i love tasty works not that hard move mm -hmm. all right they really give me five cents right now. This is pretty far as giving me ten cents. So our put is at twenty six forty five. Our call is at twenty eight hundred. Right. So let's see what happens. All right, look at this. We rallied up, broke that off. So, all right, <laughs> let's go back and press this trade now. We're doing um, five under the little thing still, but too much of a rally. But we always been looking for a set put anyway. So, let's go, go back here. This is going to be quick. Put, put. I said, what was that? 2655. That's where we was. Right. Always make sure you're on the same day at closing, April 8th. Right, open again. Yeah, okay. Now we have two six forty five through the contract. Okay, you can see as you can see my property I can use to be two thousand dollars. All right, so let's go back real quick. If I place it, click on that. Yep, go down there and two six fifty five. All right. Same, same order. And then, all right, I sent the order in. Let's go back. Let's go activity. Go to working. 
Seven cents. So Paris has to get up to ten cents right now to feel me. Why was that ten cents? Let's see if it feels me. And then we're doing doing two hundred contracts at ten cents. And then we're trying to make two grand. Yeah. Right. Let's see if it feels me. Right. And then I'm gonna let you roll. And then if any changes happen, so I'll come back to y'all and see what happened and how I changed it or anything like that. All right, but we're doing 10 cents. We're trying to get $2,000 today. And our money coming in at 4 o'clock. So let's, let's get it. All right. All right, welcome back. All right, we now we are at least 30 minutes past um, when it was around 2 o'clock. I'll say 50 minutes past. And now I have to update the chart because as price was moving up and making new highs, trying to break that. So I had to move up my start price to 2660. So my friend is at 2680. He's still in there and he's making money. Um, yeah, I'm moving on to 2660 for my sell put. Um, and we almost at 3 o'clock p.m. I had to change my credit to five cents. So five cents doing two hundred contract, that's a thousand dollars. Just cut in half from the original trade we tried to do. Um, so right now I'm just trying to get filled on here. So as price goes up, price is starting to decay. It's going from ten cents to zero cents. So there's no like no money at that start price anymore. It's just like right now it's going from zero to five cents right now. So uh, let's hope we can get filled. All right, and then I'll come back. And show you why I get filled again, like I said before. But if any updates or anything changes, I'll let you know. All right, we only got an hour left. All right, All right I'm back. Hey, it's 4 o'clock p.m. Well, it's 4 4 p.m. That means we made some money today. Um, so just to recap you what, what we said before about um, the trade that we were trying to do, um, we're going to go to field. Actually, go to cancel because it cancels out at the four o'clock. So I put in two trades in. Um, at first we did a sell put at uh, 26.55. I had to move that up to 26.75. I got filled for 10 contracts out of 200. So we did for five cents. So 10 times $5, that's $50 under that. So we still made some money off of that instead of the $2,000 we were trying to make. Um, then I placed another trade closer to the current price. I did 190 contracts. I only got two out of those contracts filled. So two times five or ten dollars. So that's around uh, sixty bucks, fifty-five bucks we could we made today. Um, I'm gonna show you the PL too as well. But just a simple fact that just remember if you when you trade options and you got a lot of contracts, like uh, over a hundred contracts, it is gonna be harder for you to get filled on certain start prices, especially you doing as low as ten cents, five cents because there's not a lot of buyers and sellers to take your, your contract. So that's why I got partially filled on my two trades I took today, but um, but we still made money, we still in the green, we didn't take a loss, all right? So, and let's go, and let's go back to the chart real quick. After I change this, go to the table, go to the chart and see how everything played out. So basically how every how we drew out, out everything today, it literally worked. Um, price broke that. That's why we got in the sub put down here. My friend Deontay got a 2680. He did, I think, at 30 cents and he did 50 contracts. So he made $1,500 today um, at 2680. And I was at 2675. And I was also at 2725. And I made $54 bucks off of those two, those two strike prices. But however, we still, like I said, we still made money. And But the way we prepared the trade, it worked out perfect. I'm going to delete this right down here. Without perfect price, literally broke these 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 two highs right here, and that's why we did the sell put. But we just have to wait on it, just like I said. Training is all about patience, 
and just letting the chart do what it do and let the chart do what we want it to do for us to get in the trade and make money, make us feel more comfortable to take the trade, if anything. And um, it just worked out beautiful. Uh, I respected this resistance level because prices kept falling and uh, China kept falling, but went back up, kept falling again. That's why you see all this sideways consolidation up here. And price never broke this. So just going back to my plan about what if, what if price broke this, we would have did a call up here, but it never broke it, but it broke these two highs up here. So that's why I did a, a sell put down here. So, and that's how it works. And we made money. Uh, my friend Deontay made money too as well. Like I said, $1,500 today, and that's a good payday. And we were trying to get two grand. Um, and in these videos, you will see me make two grand, four grand, where how much money, whatever. But it just the record shows it's possible to make that much amount of money in within two, three hours. We made $54 within an hour. Uh, I say, let's go back to Tank Source to see when we got filled. Um, let's go back to activity. We got filled around, that's four o'clock, four o'clock. We got out. Let's see. Dude, oh, let me check on my phone and see at the time. Oh, my favorite thing. Oh, here you go. 1016. So, nope, that's a 10 cent call. Actually, yeah, that's a 10 cent call. No, we did a good one. 100, 900. All right, let's see. Let me see on my phone real quick. Let's see if it shows on here when we got filled. Cancel, cancel, cancel. No. Let's see when we got filled. Let's see when we got filled. So we got filled at 2.59 p.m. on the 26.75 put, sell put. And we got filled at, I got filled at 3.53 on those two contracts uh, at 27.25. Um, so that was like almost an hour difference between those two trades. But that's when we got filled. So we, we can really say we made $54 within an hour. If we made two grand within an hour, that'd be even better. But hey, you got to take what you get. Just be grateful that you made money, not lose no money. All right. Um, but just a simple fact, just recap. Like literally this chart did what we wanted to do today. Uh, it definitely went up to the Southern Territory. So let's we'll see what the chart does um, on Friday and Thursday and Friday, all right? But definitely let's anticipate that prices made new highs, like just rally up, broke these two highs. So potentially it will, most likely high probability, it will gap down and go back up. And that's what I want to do for the next two days and see what we can get in on Friday. All right, but um, obviously those FOMC minutes didn't really affect the, um, the chart today. It just gave it a little rally, and you had the news on the Dow Jones CEO resigned today. Then Bernie Sanders uh, stopped his presidential campaign today. So uh, I guess that rally definitely, definitely made some little impact. Um, I mean, that, that news gave some impact on that rally today in the S and P. But however, we read it right, we anticipated right on the movement of the S&P, we made some money today, all right? So like I said, subscribe to Option Talks. Um, uh, this is Wednesday trade for y'all. And definitely subscribe. And if you have any questions on about this trade or about how we did to think about with the movement, how we want to set up everything, how we prepared for it today, um, definitely comment below and definitely subscribe to Option Talks, all right? Uh, Another day at Wednesday trades, and we're gonna see you Friday. All right, have a good day. Yeah.